Howdy AGP students, this lesson will cover triangles in a little more depth and some useful facts when working with triangles. In a single triangle, the largest angle is opposite the longest side. In this figure, side x is greater than side y since 70 is the largest angle. So let's take a real quick look at what the other, the missing angle is. So we'll calculate that by subtracting 70 and 65 from 180 and that's going to give us 45 degrees so this angle down here is 45 degrees so we know that y is actually the smallest value and x is the largest value because 70 is the largest angle and uh, this is a good time to point out make sure that you uh, realize that a lot of times the figures are not drawn to scale and so it does look like y is greater than the other side but that's actually not true and we can figure that out by looking at the uh, interior angles. The sides of the triangles have special properties as well. When you add up any two sides, they must be greater than the length of the remaining side. For example, sides of 3, 3, and 7 cannot form a triangle. Since 3 plus 3 is less than 7, the figure here shows why this combination does not work. And so you can see, if these two were 3, and this is 7, it's not really a triangle. There's a overlap here. And if these two are three, and this is seven, they actually don't connect. So when you add up any two sides, they have to be greater than the third side. The most common way this rule is tested on the SAT is a question as follows. A triangle has sides of eight, 10, and x. What are the possible values of x? With this problem, we'll choose on the low end three. So if you add 8 and 3, that's going to be 11, which is greater than 10. On the other hand, if you add 10 and 3, that's all, that adds to 13, which is greater than 8. So on the low end, x has to be greater than 2. On the other hand, 18 would not work, because 10 plus 8 is 18, and that e actually equals each other. Uh, however, if we choose 17, 17 and 10, that's 27, which is greater than 8. 10 plus 8, that's 18, which would be greater than 17. And then 17 plus 8 is 25, which is greater than 10. When dealing with these problems, just make sure that you try all the combinations and any two sides that you add are, have to be greater than the third side. When finding the area of a triangle, remember the longer side has the smaller altitude or height. In the figure here, you can see the longest side has the shortest height, while the shortest side has the largest height. When you multiply the base times height, the result is always two times the area of the triangle. Just make sure you're using the correct base and with the correct height. When the three angles of different triangles are the same, they're considered similar. Proportions can be set up to solve for the missing values in these problem types. Be careful that you use the appropriate values when setting up your proportions. Here you can see how parallel lines are used to give similar triangles. In this first example, we have we could set up a proportion where the small triangle is equal to the larger triangle to solve for x. In this proportion, we can actually see that this line and this line are parallel, and so this side would be actually correspond to this side whereas this side would correspond to this one, and x would correspond to 4. So you could set up a proportion to solve for that x. We'll go more into detail with these types of problems with the examples and the practice problems. When dealing with angles, make sure to eliminate any overly obvious wrong answers. Take a look at these common angles and get a feel for their general shape. Sometimes it may be helpful to draw a line that's not makes a 90 degree angle or a 180 degree angle to help you discern what actual angle measure you have. These are good angles to be familiar with. Now let's look at our first example problem. Example 1 states, if m is a prime number, then the largest possible value for m is a5, b7, c9, d10, E11, and you see the figure over there to the right. And so first we want to actually eliminate any obviously wrong answers. And here if you look, C and D 
9 and 10, they're both not prime numbers. So we can go ahead and eliminate them right away. We know that those aren't correct. So now let's look at answer choice E, which is 11. 11 is a prime number, but let's see if it actually works. So if we uh, compare two sides, the 5 and the 5, 5 plus 5 equals 10, which is less than the third side of 11. And remember, any two sides have to equal greater than the third side. So answer choice E is incorrect because of that. Now let's look at answer choice B. Uh, we can look at the, uh, the two sides and compare them to 7. So uh, we have 5 plus 5, the two sides, that equals 10. 10 is greater than 7. And if we add 5 and 7, we get 13, which 13 is greater than 5. So both of these actually check out, and 7 would be the largest prime number that M could be. Answer choice A is also prime, but it's less than uh, 5 or less than 7 rather, and so we wouldn't want to choose that. Let's take a look at our next example. Example 2 reads, in the figure shown, segment PQ is parallel to segment AB. What is the value of X? So we know that PQ is parallel to AB, which means we have similar triangles. Now to solve this problem, we need to set up a proportion, and since it's, uh, we have some variables in there, we can actually use the trial and error method. So we want to first look at answer choice C, since we're going to use the trial and error method. So we'll set up uh, answer choice C. Uh, we have this triangle of 9 over x minus 2 equals 9 plus 6, or 15, over x plus 2. Right. So in this case, we're comparing this small side of this tri these two triangles to the larger side of this triangle. And so if we set that proportion up, we have 9 over 6, because we substitute in the 8 for x, and so 8 minus 2 is 6, and then 8 plus 2 is 10, and we can reduce both of these fractions down to 3 over 2. And that actually gives us the correct answer of answer choice C. So in this case, x equals 8. Our last example reads, in the figure below, what is the value of x? And again here you have similar triangles. You can tell because of the uh, angle measures. Take some time now and work through this problem and see what you get.